Alright guys, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you guys how to best spend your diamonds. So as a casual or free to play player, this is very important na we do not waste our diamonds kung saan saan lang. So if you are a minimum spender, this guide will also contain information to help you guys. So before we start this video, Please subscribe in our YouTube channel to stay updated in our content in Nino Kuni. Uh, follow me on Facebook for live streams. And, uh, and that would be a great way to show your support sa akin. So let's start. So first thing is I will show you guys where to get free diamonds. Wow. So saan ba nakakuha yung free diamonds? So if we go to menu and then character class grade. So in this... Uh, window section you can see in level 60 there's a reward of 1000 diamonds so also in level 80 and level 100 so these rewards are individual guys so if ipa level nyo yung alt nyo lahat ng level 60 each alt can receive these level achievements or level rewards so so another way to get free diamonds is from labyrinth so let's go to labyrinth if you check here under chapter rewards you can get 200 diamonds if you earn 20 stars so these rewards are by chapters so tignan natin o oh, see dito na earn ko na siya 20 stars so 9 chapter 9 na earn ko na din so in each chapter meron siyang kailangang stars earned to receive yung free diamonds so unfortunately this one is not individually uh earned this is across account achievement so one time nyo lang siya pwedeng makuha kapag ka na reach nyo na siya kahit gawin nyo sa sa alt wala na kayo makuha ang rewards so that is the free diamonds for our free to play or casual players so now let's go to spending saan nga ba magandang gamitin yung ating free diamonds so if we go to shop go to bundles as you can see here, meron mga different types of bundles for different materials. Ganyan lahat. Unfortunately, yung best value for our diamonds is not in the shop. So, let's go to challenges and power up. So, as you can see here guys, in at tier 8, the reward is 5 fruits and 2 4 star beans. So, this is the max reward at tier 8 so if we compare this guys sa shop so 5 fruits and 2 beans 2 4 star beans let's go to the shop if we compare this guys to the enhancement or the power up familiar bundle so this bundle has 10 fruit baskets so the yung fruit basket pwede kang mamili ng fruit na gusto mo so meron kang 10 pieces for 1,000 diamonds. If we compare this dun sa power up reward, at tier 8, it's almost half nung bundle yung reward na makukuha natin. So, why do I recommend na dito nyo spend yung uh, diamonds nyo is by using purchase entry. So, as you can see here, purchase entry only costs 100 diamonds. So, for that price, at least half of the value nung bundle is makukuha mo na from just purchasing entry. So, on the first purchase, the entry cost 100, the second one cost 200, and the last one cost 400 diamonds for the last entry. So, on what level do I recommend you guys spending purchase entry? So, at least tier 5. So, if we check on tier 5 reward, the fruit rewards are 3 to 4. So, if we still compare that sa bundle na, na mayroon sa shop, at least half the value na rin is nandito by just purchasing the entry for just 100 diamonds. So, again, I recommend this at least tier 5. So, kung rush naman kayo, if you're in rush, you can use that on tier 4 at the least. Kasi in, at tier 3, medyo hindi pa worth it. Pero... Still, if you compare this guys sa uh, bundle, it's just 100 diamonds for just purchasing one entry. So, if 
we go to the fire temple, the same thing applies, guys. So, as you can see here, I purchased two entry. That's just 300 diamonds. So, I got 10 armor upgrade stone and 2 4 star upgrade level material. So, if we compare this also sa shop na meron tayo. So, in the bundle, the level up package costs 1,000 diamonds. And I got this materials 10 pieces for just 300 diamonds hey, so that's, that's a big good. difference guys in value per diamonds so again if you check here in challenge uh if you click this icon you can see the schedule of rewards so on monday day wednesday there are different rewards per day so the best way to spend or the best day to spend your diamonds are on weekends why? Because it gives out the exactly same item from the bundle in the shop. So it's also a fruit selection basket. So here, you can select the fruit that you need. By the time you get a familiar that you need to evolve, meron kayong pagbibilian. So again, if you check naman in the tab of Fire Temple, the best day to spend is on Sunday. Because on Sunday, you can select any item from the list so still if you uh, follow the days for purchasing entry you can just see here the schedule of rewards so you can just purchase entry based on what you need so that would be the best way to spend yung free diamonds natin as a casual or free to play player now we go to the minimum spender guys so yung mga minimum spender if you go to shop, I could recommend you guys purchasing daily adventure benefits. So here, you can get free diamonds. You have a basic AI mode and quick entry benefit apply. So ito yung mga benefits from purchasing this package. So again, so another one is yung daily premium. You can buy daily premium for diamonds and energy drinks for XP. So, those two I can recommend for minimum spender. So, as a minimum spender, you can also follow yung guide na sinabi ko for the free-to-play and casual players. So, another way, another great way to spend your diamonds is by purchasing Field Boss Season Pass. So, as you can see here, sa Field Boss Season Pass, maraming rewards. There are different material rewards. There are upgrade rewards. Real rewards, gold, enhancement. But our main target in this uh, season pass is the dark magic crystal. So on the entirety of the season pass, you can get at least 150 pieces of dark magic crystal for 3,000 diamonds. So if we compare 3, 150 pieces dark magic crystal in the bundle in the shop compared to the season pass, which only costs 3,000 diamonds. So that's a big uh, difference, guys. If you do, if you're, especially if you're an active player and a minimum spender, purchasing the Field Bus Season Pass would be a great help for you, guys. So that would be all in this uh, video. If you find this video informative, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, share it to your friends. Also follow me on Facebook for live stream. See you guys again on the next video. Alright.